Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. Uh, we've been making a, a set of videos to show you the different motorcycle speakers that we have offered. And now I'm going to show you all the new Hertz SPL Show motorcycle specific speakers. So we're going to go product by product in the line, open them up, and go over the specs of each one. First, I'm going to start with our SX165neo. This is our six and a half inch speaker, most likely used in your upper fairing, lower fairing, or a tour pack. Um, we use this in most of our YouTube videos. If you see us uh, do installs, our stage two and stage four Hertz packages normally consist of this speaker. It's one of my favorite, and there's quite a bit of technology that goes into making it that way. But let me open it up and I'll go over that with you. Now, at the end of this series of videos, I'll let you know we do have a side by side comparison of the different brands we carry. There are definitely some different sounds uh, from different types of speakers. Some are going to play lower bass, some are going to be a little brighter on the high range, some are going to go louder overall. So we have some full range speakers, some loud speakers, and we're going to go over all those differences and show you an apples to apples comparison between each speaker so you can make the best judgment of which one you want to buy. As well as there are definitely many different price points. So you may find out that Maybe you don't want to necessarily pay for the most expensive one because you see the other ones suit your needs just fine. Um, but I think this is an excellent speaker for its price point. We use it a lot and our customers normally are very, very happy with it. All right, so like I said, this is the SX165neo. It's a six and a half inch coaxial speaker. Coaxial means that it has a separate woofer and tweeter mounted in the same speaker. These use a pole piece to hold the tweeter in the middle instead of a bridge like some other ones. This is what they call a nature-proof, high stiff, pressed paper cone. That means the water is not gonna bother it. It's humidity-proof, dust-proof, uh, very well built. It's got a UV inhibitor on it as well so that the sun won't deteriorate it. Uh, they use a PEI dome tweeter. This is a hard dome tweeter, so it is very bright, very efficient. One really cool set of technology that's in this most of the Harley speakers do not have. It has a resettable solid state tweeter protection circuit. If this tweeter gets too hot, if you send it a clip signal, something that you shouldn't do, but it's something that causes it to distort and would normally blow it, it'll actually cut itself down automatically. When the correct signal is restored, it's cooled back down, it'll go back to working just like it did before. So instead of like most other speakers blowing the tweeter, it's gonna protect itself so it continues to play for years and years to come. Volunteer Audio, we actually warranty this entire line for three years. So definitely a great warranty to stand behind it. Another important part is the N38H Neodymium Magnet. This is a rare earth magnet. It is extremely strong and therefore it does not have to be very large. So this speaker set weighs a little under two pounds. So not very heavy. It's not gonna affect the handling by putting something way heavier than the stock speaker in your upper fairing. So direct drop in as well. This is gonna fit with no modification to the factory speaker pods. It uses the factory hardware and it even has two sets of terminals, different sizes that actually will match up to those factory terminals very nice in your Harley. So super easy to install. Excellent sound with the separate tweeter. Um, we find this mid, even though Hertz says that it plays from 100 Hertz to 20 kilohertz, that we play it at full volume at 85 Hertz and it is clear all day long. So we actually, will, we would tell you from our own testing that it'll play down to 85 Hertz with no problem. I definitely wouldn't play it much lower than that. That's where the six pedimes are gonna come into play. But you're gonna get a pair of these in the SX165neos. They handle 200 watts peak. They handle 100 watts of RMS power. And really the, the thing that sets it apart from a lot of other speakers, due to that neodymium magnet, the efficiency rating on these are very high. They'll do 96 and a half decibel off one watt. So whether you're throwing this on the new Soundstream Reserve radio as a replacement speaker or on your GTS radio as a replacement speaker with no amp, it's still gonna be a huge improvement over the stock speaker. Then if you wanna get even more, put one of our plug and play Hertz amp setups on it, and it'll take the power and really shine. So I think you get the idea, we like this speaker. It is an excellent speaker. And I think even though it's at one of the higher price points for a six and a half inch coaxial, it's well worth the extra money. We believe quality beats quantity any day. 
And if you spend a little bit more on the speaker, you're not gonna have to spend as much on the amp and you may not even need an amp when you're done. So I'm gonna get this one boxed up. We're gonna move on to the next speaker. So I got the SX165neos box back up and I wanna show you the SV165neo. So this is one of the loudest six and a half inch mids that you could purchase. Uh, let's open it up and I'll show you about it. This is in Hertz's SPL show line. I wanna take a second and talk about Hertz for just a moment. Hertz is an Italian company that builds extremely high-end speakers. You're not gonna find this at a lot of your big box retailers because it's actually too high-end for them to carry. Uh, they're known for quality. They definitely aren't gonna have a very low cost speaker. They're gonna have something that's gonna last you for years and years, and it's gonna sound really, really good to listen to. It's not just something that's loud, it's also enjoyable. So I actually got a chance a couple years ago, we went to Italy, we toured the facility. Excellent, excellent people, excellent company. Uh, this SPL show line is the only Hertz line that is meant for Harley Davidson. So even though they have a great speaker and there is a huge following where people will tell you, you need to get Hertz speakers for your Harley. But if you do that, make sure you get the SPL show series. It's meant for Harley Davidson. They make a great line for cars and trucks, but that speaker is not gonna make you happy in your Harley. So this is the SV165 Neo Mid. Let me go ahead and get them out of the bag here and show you. It's built very similar to what you just saw from the SX165 Neo. Uh, this is the SV165 Neo. And the difference is this is a mid. There is no separate tweeter in the middle. It's a solid cone. It also uses that N38H neodymium magnet. It also has that high stiff nature proof uh, paper, pressed paper cone. Um, very nice double rolled surround on it. Um, very, very loud. It will handle a lot of power. This speaker will handle 400 watts of peak power or 150 watts of RMS power. 97 decibel efficient, so about a half decibel louder with the same amount of power as the SX series. This is at a higher price point because you will buy your tweeter separate. It is a component set. Um, the tweeter we'll get into here in a few minutes and we'll talk to you more about that. These are our four ohm impedance. And again, at 100 hertz to 10 kilohertz, it doesn't go quite as high because it doesn't have a tweeter built in. You'll get that with your tweeter that you're gonna add on. But it plays up into almost tweeter range with a mid. Um, in our testing, 85 hertz will still play clear at 85 hertz to full volume like the SX series. The SV is the loudest six and a half inch mid that we normally use. Um, again, side-by-side -side comparison video coming later. We'll show you those FPL readings between each speaker and the efficiency in our sound display wall with an RTA. We'll give you a good apples to apples comparison between them. Excellent speaker. Just wanted to show you what you get in this. We're gonna move on and show you the tweeter next. All right, our SV165s are back boxed up and this is the tweeter I was just telling you about. This is the ST25K Neo. Now they make this an ST25A and a K. We at Volunteer Audio, we only sell the K. I don't care if you're doing this active with a DSP or if you're gonna run this passive off a of radio, we use the K kit. The difference between the two is this particular set comes with a crossover that you hook up to your tweeter to protect it from bass. Any compression horn tweeter like this, if you connect it and you allow a bass signal to make it into the speaker, a lower frequency uh, response like a sub would get or even a mid would get, it pretty well blows the tweeter immediately. These are rebuildable, but we don't want you to go through that. We don't want you to have to pay to rebuild the speaker. So we, we include the crossover. When you plug that into the speaker, it's gonna protect it from that base. So if you're running a DSP, you're thinking I'm gonna set a crossover point, that won't hurt it. Your DSP may not turn on fast enough. Your amp may beat it to turn on. And if it does, it would blow this speaker. These are all computers, so sometimes they turn on slower than others. So the 25K is the only one we're gonna sell because we don't want you to have problems. Also the 25K comes with another set of speaker grills. Here they are, they're a mesh black grill that matches all of our other grills, also matches the six by nine grills and most factory Harley grills. You don't get that in the A kit. The A is cheaper, but it, you're gonna be wishing that you would have bought the K kit. So as I open it up here, we got two grills. We had the two crossovers we talked about. And then we have two of these compression horn tweeters. And there's also a tool in here to allow you to tighten up the ring that goes around the tweeter. This is a super popular, super popular speaker because it fits the gauge hole on a Harley perfectly. 
So if you took one of your air gauges out, the air or maybe uh, the air temp or oil pressure on a 98 to 13, this is gonna fit perfectly in the gauge hole. We also add these quite often in the road glides and other installs. There's lids and lowers that are also developed to hold these tweeters. It is a Neo driver. So the N38H Neodymium driver, it is a four ohm impedance. These handle 100 watts peak power. There is no RMS rating from Hertz on them, but they are super efficient. 107 decibel off one watt. These things are so loud they can make your ears bleed. But we're going to make sure that when we install them, that we make them where they're not that loud. Normally we don't point these directly at you unless you have a ton of mid to accompany them. Um, Great speaker, cult following on the internet. Everybody wants these in their Harley because they are so loud, so crisp. Um, excellent part, but normally used in conjunction with the SV165neo. If you look at both of these and, and the install's too complicated or the price point's out of uh, what you want to spend, the SX165neo with the built-in tweeter is an excellent option for you. So we're going to get this box back up and we're going to move on to the 6 front on. All right, so I've got the tweeter packaged back up and we're gonna move on to our SX690 Neo 6x9. This is one of the best 6x9s you can put in a Harley. Uh, again, we'll be doing a video to show you the difference between this one and the other 6x9s so that you can determine for yourself what is best and what is not. But at its price point, it's one of the loudest 6x9s we can get. Our customers have been very, very happy with it. And if you ask that question in a lot of these motorcycle forums, what's the best 6x9? This is one of the names that pops up over and over and over. Again, it's a neodymium speaker like the other speakers in the line. It's going to come with a set of Hertz 6x9 grills. Very nice large Hertz logo on it. Normally we won't use these on a Harley, but we do take the logo off and rebadge our cut kits if we install them in a lid with a cut kit or even install that on a grill of an aftermarket lid. Let me get our speakers out here. So you're going to get two speakers, two grills, and some mounting hardware. Set this to the side so we can go over these speakers. All right, so you got two of them. I'm going to talk about this one while I've got it open. So we have a 6 by 9 inch speaker. It's got two tweeters uh, here mounted on a pole piece. Another, uh, another high stiff paper cone that's UV treated, water treated, waterproof. It's got a gasket to keep water from getting down to the voice cool. Uh, this one has a butyl rubber style surround on it. And the six by nine handles 260 watts of peak power, 130 watts RMS. But here's where it really does well. We add the six by nines to most of our installs because it plays so low on base. So it's rated at 65 Hertz. We see it plays a little lower all the way up to 24 kilohertz. So it's gonna play the whole range of music. It's also 94 decibel efficient, which is extremely efficient for a six by nine inch speaker. Awesome speaker, again, Neo N38H magnet, not too heavy, doesn't take up too much room, and it's gonna make it a lot easier to open and close that lid if you don't have a super heavy speaker while still handling up to 260 watts. Excellent speaker, excellent sound. I'm gonna get this one packaged back up. We're gonna move on to talk about our eight. All right, so we got those six by nines packaged back up. And I'm gonna show you the eight inch mids, the SV200 Neo. This thing is pretty crazy. When you look at the specs, it handles a ton of power. It is super loud. And it has been a go-to for a lot of guys that wanna put an eight inch speaker in their lids. There are some lowers out now as well to put eight inch lowers in. And some people actually make brackets to mount these inside your fairing. We don't actually do the in, in fairing mounts with the eights. We generally use the pods with the six and a half. With this set, you're gonna get two eights. Very similar construction to the other speakers though. Same N38H neodymium magnet. So it's not too big to fit in a lot of different scenarios. Especially if you're the type to put an eight in your fairing, it's not super deep. So you're not gonna have nearly as much trouble trying to get it to fit. Um, also, not super heavy, but check this out. 500 watts is what it'll handle, peak power. That is a crazy amount of power. 200 watts RMS to get it to its full potential, but on top of that, it's 100 decibel efficient. So with only one watt, it still puts out 100 decibel of sound, by far the most efficient mid that we have in our whole lineup. It'll play, uh, according to Hertz, 100 Hertz to eight kilohertz. 
Now, in all of our testing, they play lower than that. So I definitely wouldn't be worried about throwing an 80 to 85 hertz signal to this speaker and getting a little bit more mid-bass out of it. Um, same high, stiff, pressed paper cone that's waterproof. They call it nature-proof. Uh, excellent speaker. Amazing if you ever get to hear one. Super clear all the way to full volume. So I wanted to go over these eights and show them to you. Next, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and set these to the side just go straight into this grill. We'll package this up when we're done. We have a grill that Hertz offers that has answered a lot of questions for us on our installations. You get two of these grills. It's actually in their Millie Pro series, but it fits the SX series speakers perfectly. If we're doing a Chur Pack, we will put this grill, this three-piece grill, and we'll use normally all three pieces. The base, the silver middle, and then we overlay the metal mesh. It looks great on a tur pack. If you have a lower with this large of an opening, it works great on the lower. But a lot of the lowers anymore, you have a hard time finding a grill that will fit. So in those cases, we actually use just the middle grill that comes in this set. So if you've got like a hog tunes lower or even some Advan Black lowers that have a very small grill area, this is a great grill to go over top of the speaker and recess into the hole. We actually color, color match these uh, to different bikes. So we may leave it silver on a gray bike, paint it black on a black bike, and so on. It always looks really well. It uh, looks good in the install, but you buy this one grill, you get all three options. So if you're not sure what's going to fit or not fit, this is an awesome option. Fits the Turpax great. And again, you may use all of this or part of it to do your lowers. Uh, all of these products that we just went over are available at volunteeraudio.com. All of these you've seen over and over in our YouTube videos. And all the speakers are going to be done pretty soon. We're going to have our side-by-side -side comparison. It'll launch a few videos from now uh, in which we test every one of these speakers. Make sure it lives up to the hype, up to the specs that Hertz has said that it will. And we're going to give you the idea of what frequencies it actually plays, what range, when you would use it, these are loudspeakers, not for everybody. If you like a full range with a lot of mid-bass and not a lot of tweeter, then you're going to be more likely to want a, a full-range speaker like in our Infinity line or the Precision Power line. But if you want it loud, clear, and something you can hear a mile away, Hertz is definitely the brand for you. Uh, but again, we'll do that video. We'll go over all that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has helped you. I hope it's given you some information, maybe some things you didn't know about Hertz. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to it, share it with your friends, and comment anything that you want to know from us. Down here below the video, you can also call us, 1-844-30-AUDIO, or visit us at volunteeraudio.com. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day, and God bless.